Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you the new Bitscap Gridbot pump and dump feature. And by the end of the video, I will show you how you can actually enable it or disable that feature depending on what your strategy calls for. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one crypto trading platform, but they're best known for really their grid bots. And you can actually get started for free. I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link to get started with Bitscap, you will actually be started on their pro plan. So that will give you all the features available that they offer. Now, with that being said, you could actually get started in demo mode before submitting your funds to Live Fire, and that way you could actually test out your strategies before you risk any of your funds. Now, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get into the weeds of this pump and dump feature. But before we do, if you're not familiar with how grid bots actually operate, it's very basic. They buy low and sell high and the grid bot is basically made up of open limit buy orders which are the green lines you see on the chart and open limit sell orders which are the red lines that you see here on the chart and so when the price dips down it is buying low and when that price bounces back up it is selling high for profit and so the ideal price action you're looking for is something that is somewhat range bound moving sideways yet slightly trending up and with that type of price action in theory you will have a lot of dips and rips for profit now with that being said let's jump over to bitscap where we can actually configure one of these grid bots all right so if you're new to bitscap the first thing you're going to need to do once you log in is add an exchange via api keys and what that basically means is you never actually send money to bitscap your funds stay on your exchange and they are as safe as they can be when being held on exchanges but keep in mind not your keys not your crypto any funds being held on an exchange are at risk of being lost so i recommend you never hold more funds on an exchange than you're willing to lose but it's important to note, again, you don't actually send money to Bitscap. Your funds stay on Binance or Coinbase or Qcoin, wherever you hold your funds. What you have to do is connect your exchange to Bitscap so they can actually place buy and sell orders on your behalf. And when you set up your API key in your exchange, just make sure you don't enable withdrawals. And so it's pretty simple to connect your exchange. You just come over here to the button that says add new exchange. Give that a click. Then you can search through a list of exchanges. Once you select your exchange, copy and paste your API key and your secret key into the appropriate spaces here and then click connect. So once you have your exchange connected, you're ready to deploy a grid bot. So you can jump back over here to bots and then from the bots tab, jump over here to the start new bot give that a click that will pop up a variety of different bots you can deploy in today's example i will be deploying perhaps the most popular bot for bitscap and that's the s bot so now i give that a click and so over here on the right hand side of the screen is the configuration for my new s bot the first thing i need to determine is what exchange i want to use and i can basically select from the exchanges i have already connected with api keys as mentioned earlier in this case i will be using my qcoin exchange and so next i need to select what pair i actually want to trade today i will be using btc usdt however you can select from pretty much every pair your exchange offers but again today i will be going with btc usdt Next, I need to determine how much ammo I actually want to give this bot to work with. And in this case, I will give the bot 500 USDT. And now I need to determine the low price and the high price I want this bot to actually operate within. And in this case, since Bitcoin is currently selling off, I'm perfectly fine buying Bitcoin at a lower price. And so I'm going to actually drag my low price down to around 18,000. I can also make that adjustment over here and just type in 18,000. And then for my high price, I typically look for prior resistance for that level. And so in this case, if we look back here, we see that level right around 24,000. So I will type in 24,000. 
And now that I have my high price and low price set, you can see the price of Bitcoin is currently somewhat in the middle of that range, which would be ideal if we see Bitcoin continue to dip down. I have room to buy low or if the price starts to move up, I will start taking profit on that move up. Now, as far as the high price goes, if Bitcoin somehow manages to recover and continue to move up above 24,000, I do actually have the trailing up feature enabled which will basically move the grid up and continue to follow that price action up with the grid and thus my bot will stay in the fight and continue to have opportunities to buy low and sell high now unfortunately recently bitscap discontinued the trailing down and so if the price goes down below my low price my bot will be out of the fight until the price action at least comes back above the low price that I have set at 18,000. Now, with that all being said, the next thing I need to configure is my grid step. And I typically shoot for around a 0.49 to about a 0.1% grid step. In this case, I'm gonna put it at 0 0.70. And as you can see, the grid spacing between each one of these grids did increase when I made that change. Now, if I bump that up to 0.9%, you will see once again that grid spacing increased even more. But for this particular bot, I am going to shoot for the 0.7% grid space, which would give me a total of 41 grids. So there's probably 20 grids to the top side, and it looks like about 21 grids towards the downside. Now the next option is take profit and I could have the bot take profit if the price hit a certain percent towards the top side. Like say for example the bot achieved 20% profit, I could go ahead and have the bot shut down and capture and lock in all that profit. But for this particular bot I will not be enabling the take profit feature. Now the next feature is stop loss and normally I would recommend that you enable the stop loss but in this case today I will not be enabling the stop loss as I am trading Bitcoin and I am perfectly fine buying Bitcoin as low as it can go in this case only 18,000 but I have no problem holding regardless of how low Bitcoin goes so in this case I don't want the stop loss to shut the bot down and sell my Bitcoin for a loss I'm more than willing to hold that Bitcoin for the next couple years if that's what it takes for Bitcoin to start to pump back towards the top side. And I guess at this point, I want to stress this video is being provided for educational purposes only, and it is not financial advice. You need to do your own recon and determine your own risk management strategies. And so this video is basically just a how-to video, not a how-to copy me video. Now next up is trailing up and as you can see I have that enabled and that will allow the bot to continue to move the grid up if the price manages to move up above my higher price level of 24000 Now we get to the new feature which is your pump or dump protection and it's not new necessarily in the sense that Bitscap has always had the pump and dump feature however now you have the ability to enable or disable the feature where in the past you were stuck with that feature being enabled and you could not disable it and so with that being said if you're not familiar with what the pump and dump protection is it is basically a feature to prevent your bot from buying too high in the case of a pump and selling too low in the case of a dump. Now the issue I have seen with that feature is it also doesn't sell on the pump. So you might not sell at the highest price if your bot had been purchasing on the way down and all of a sudden you get a pump towards the top side. Your bot not only doesn't buy at the top, it also doesn't sell at the top. And so it'll be interesting to see how disabling this feature will actually play out. And so since this is a long position bot, I have the option to disable the pump protection. And so I am actually going to toggle that off and not have pump protection in place. And we'll see how that plays out if we actually see any pumps from Bitcoin. Now that I have everything configured, I can go ahead and click on backtest. I don't expect the best results, but in reality, backtest results do not guarantee future results. So I'm not too concerned about these backtest results in this current market. 
And in a bear market, I would actually prefer to see about half a percent profit per day or at a minimum a quarter percent profit per day. So this isn't even close. But the fact that Bitcoin is crashing, I'm not surprised with these results. So I have everything configured. I've run my back test. Now I'm ready to start the bot. So I just click start. And now I get a preview of the actual settings. The bot type is SBOT, exchange is Qcoin. The pair is BTC USDT. My profit currency, I will be collecting USDT. My sell orders will be a total of 0.011 BTC. My buy orders will be around 260 USDT. The number of levels or grids will be 41 grids that you see over here on the chart. The grid spacing or grid step will be 0.7%, which is the space between each one of these lines. The high price I have set at 24,000. My high price mode is trailing up. Pump protection is disabled. And then my low price is 18,000. Everything looks good. So now I can just click confirm. The bot is starting up and the open limit orders have been placed on the grid and now the bot is deployed. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will do an update in the future on how that disabled pump feature is actually working or perhaps not working. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.